request uh, come. We have a patient with minus 8 diopters, borderline topography, LASIK versus fakic oil. So I am going to be speaking in favor of fakic oil. I guess the dice has already been loaded in my favor with the word borderline topography. You've already loaded the dice more by saying minus 8 diopters. So I'm walking a very clean path. I thought Pooja would be here and she's a very dear friend, so I wanted to say it's going to be a friendly match. I will not pull any under the belt punches for her, but anyway, so uh, screen pay. Yeah, now I got it. So let's look at these things. I think my one slide will say it all, but I would still. Okay. So I guess uh, though it's a very busy slide, but uh, does probably pull the punch for all the points I would want to say. Cornea, of course, when you're doing a LASIK, you touch the cornea. Cornea is one of the most pristine, clear, and delicate organs uh, after the retina and the eye. And when you do a LASIK, you have definitely altered the shape and the biomechanics. You alter the tear film biomechanics. There is incidence of reported dry eye literature is full of that. And yet we are, as declared by the WHO, we are living in the era of dry eye epidemic. Pupillary size dependency is far more higher in LASIK, especially when you're dealing with a higher power. You need to have a larger ablation zone and at times you may not have enough tissue. But in a fakic lens, size is not a limiting factor. I walk the talk. I've done till 8.5 millimeters of pupil size, fakic IELTS. Vision recovery stability is far more accurate. There are no reported regressions or minimal regressions reported with the fakic lenses. Wherein when you, whenever we operate a high-powered lens, we always have a consent form saying there will be a regression. So that again, ectasias can be there. And the best part, I think, what takes the cake is no dry eyes. What takes the cake is the reversibility of the procedure. Believe me. I think there may be a mental block for just expanding the lens. It's so damn easy. Just make another port, go in with the forceps, pull it out, and put another lens in. Okay. I have done Thomas. it so many times, it's not an issue. All right. Thank you.